Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This week we are going to do a 20 minute makeup challenge. So basically what I asked you guys on Twitter this morning was a little poll on what you'd like to see and you chose this. So I just thought this was a good idea because quite a lot of the makeup looks I do are maybe a little bit more intricate or they're a little bit more glam or they take a little bit too long. So this is a really nice, easy, natural makeup. Um, I'm using a couple of new things which I'm excited about, a couple of things that I bought when I've been overseas. And yeah, I did challenge myself to do this in 20 minutes. I was looking at the camera recording time and I feel personally, if you deduct the time that I spent looking for things, breaking things, dropping things and talking, I did it in definitely 20 minutes or less. Yeah, I just think this look is really fab for school or it's a really nice kind of look for going to work. Um, and obviously the easiest thing is lip. You can change this lip to be red, purple, pink, anything you want. So obviously I did neutral because that's me. And also I have blue hair for the moment. Blue, green, teal, mermaid. I've heard in passing. So I just thought a neutral lip would look nice with my mermaid hair the first time that I show my YouTube family it. Um, I hope you like it. I hope you like this tutorial. If you'd like to see how I created this look, stay tuned. Excuse my spotty face. Okay, let's do this. So first thing we're going to start off with is Bobby Brown face base as always. Um, yeah, excuse my spotty face. I picked it. Don't know what else to say to you. So we're going to use Bobby Brown face base all over. Now, this is my kind of go-to look when I'm in a rush. When I sleep in or, yeah, in a rush. Which is quite a lot of the time, to be fair. And then I'm going to give my face a little spray of the La Mer face mist. Um, this is by no means a necessity in your makeup routine. I, I love it. And that's it. Mmm. It feels expensive. <laughs> Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Foundation in Golden. This is the new stick foundation I picked up when I was away. And I'm just going to draw this on my face. This is a wee bit dark, fully aware. I don't really use enough for it to look too dark. I literally draw all over my face like this. Like I said, this is a quick makeup. This is what we do when we're in a rush. I go right over my lips. And I'm just using my Smith 115 brush as always. But um, I'm going to bring that down my neck as well because it is too dark for me. But because I wear fake tan and because I just got tattooed, I can't put any more fake tan on just now. So this colour matches me really nicely when I've got fake tan on. But if you look, it's fine. And I'm just going to bring that between my eyebrows, cover up my spots. This foundation. I really like it. It is a lot, it's like good coverage and it gives your skin a really nice luminosity but it does not wear as good as other foundations so it's just like a wee bit too creamy I think but I do really like it. And then obviously because it's too dark for me what I would do now is go in with my Shape Tape Concealer from Tarte in the shade Light Medium. I'm a huge fan of this concealer. I've used it in many a video and I'm just going to Draw triangles, triangles. I'm just gonna highlight with this and that's gonna bring the kind of foundation colour back to my colour. Probably not the best way, but this is a good way to wear foundations if they're too dark for you, but you like the texture. And I think stick foundations are a really good way to get your makeup on nice and quick. Oh, it's nuts. And I'm just blending that down. And then I'm actually gonna swap my brush in a second. So this is the Real Techniques Contour Brush and it's my favourite under eye blending brush. Because you can get right underneath my your eye and it's the quickest. Good, and you can see that that kind of brings the colour back. And then in real life I swear it matches. This light is a nightmare. If you didn't know why I can't film properly, it's because I broke my ring light. Like everything else I own. This is my SD Edit Barest Bronzer in Light Medium. This is my new favourite bronzer. I am yet to talk about it in a video because I haven't done a video since I got it. Because I've been bad. And I'm just going to use this on my cheeks. It is, I, I can't really explain it. It's just the best bronzer I've ever used in my entire life. I like to use just a little bit down the sides of my nose. And the brush I'm using is the Smith 118. 
And look how good that foundation is in all seriousness though. It took five minutes. Highlighter. Okay, I'm gonna use two things. A old goodie and a new goodie. So the first one I'm gonna use is the new Laura Mercier Devotion Face Illuminator. And um, this is the lightest one. And I'm gonna use that on my cheekbones. Guys, you'll love it. Mm, mm, mm. It's so pretty. It's like gorgeous. So even though you've only got 20 minutes to get ready, you can still be the shiniest guy in the office. Shiniest guy in the classroom. Then I'm gonna swap to a little eyeshadow brush to get the tip of my nose. How good is that? Oh! Now, obviously Lauren Mercy is not the cheapest, but the other highlighter I'm gonna use is an old favorite of mine. I've just found it when I was cleaning out my makeup. It's called Shuffle the Cards from Topshop. And it's just the most beautiful. It's actually an eyeshadow. This is when it was an eyeshadow. Somehow, I used it as a highlighter in a video, and then Topshop brought it out as a highlighter. Very strange. So I'm going to use this with a little Zoeva face focus brush. I'm just going to pop that on top, and it gives the most beautiful kind of pinky sheen but it's like a duochrome so it's like golden and then it shines pink it's just the best you need to go and get it it's only like eight pounds if i remember properly now we're going to move on to eyes i'm going to go in with lay and low paint pot and my concealer brush and i just put a really light layer on all over my eye and now i'm going to go in with my little makeup geek palette that i made and I'm going to go in with this shade here, no, that's a lie. I'm going to go in with this shade here to mattify my lids. Putting it all over. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Frappy in my crease. I'm going to buff that shade Frappy underneath my eyes as well. I'm just going to use the side of my brush to blend that up towards the brow. And because the highlight's already there, it makes it so easy to get a nice diffusion in the eyeshadow. Then I'm going to go in with a wee bit of the Cocoa Bear shade and just literally put that in the very crease. Just because it's nice and warm and I've got blue hair at the moment, so it contrasts. Two second eye makeup, that's what I'm talking about. I'm going to jump. A different step. My Tartus Contour Palette and it's the collaboration with Sheila and we're going with this colour here and I like to just put a little touch of that. Mmm, snatch. That's what she says. So I'm allowed to say that. I'm using her contour palette. And I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on just now. I'm just going to use my Miss Hippie from L'Oreal Waterproof Mascara. Nice face. So I just applied that to my top and bottom lashes. Um, my favourite trick when I don't have much time but I still want to do kind of glam makeup is just I just throw on like a full false lash on top and it's like so easy. So the lash I'm going to use, I've already used these twice so excuse the band. They are really really nice. They're from Tarte and they're their new Tarteist Pro Collection. This is really difficult. So yeah, what I would do is, if I was going supernatural, I would just wear this. So it's just the matte, soft, smoky eye with mascara. But if you add a fuller lash, it makes it more dramatic, like straight away. And it takes two seconds. So I'm just putting my glue on just now. And then when I'm waiting for them to dry, I'm going to do my brows. So I'm going to use my Rimmel Brow This Way Brow Gel in the shade Medium Brown. And I'm going to pop that on now. And even if you've got finer eyebrows, you can use this first. And then you can do what I'm going to do in a second. I'm going to use a pencil just to define them a little bit more. And now I'm going to go in with my brow beater. And it's the Urban Decay brow pencil. And I'm just going to use the very end like the very 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 tip of this little pencil just to do a little bit more sketching through the ends of my brows just to make them a little bit darker and 
Just getting a little bit thicker and darker towards the ends. And then what you can do if you want is you can use the very tip of the pencil just to sketch underneath the brow to make that a little bit fuller looking too. Two minute brows. What time are we on? 19 minutes. I dilly dally dildo, that doesn't count. While I've done my brows, my lashes are now dry, so I'm going to shove those on. And the last thing to do is lips. I don't know what to do. Probably nude. Okay, fill in your freckle if you've got one. That makes you look very completed. I'm going to use Nighthawk Lip Liner from Urban Decay. I'm going to use Bone Arrow by Kat Von D. Sorry, but it's the nicest brown in brownie nude. I know I use quite a lot of the same stuff, but at least you know I'm telling the truth. And then what you can do is you can powder if you want, or if you want to be glowy like me, I'm going to just spray another little bit of face spray on top. Mmm, that's me done. I hope you guys like this look. It is the quickest I feel like I can get ready. So I did it in 20 minutes. Um, if you have your stuff kind of laid out and you know what you're going to be using, you would get it done quicker, for sure. But um, there's some steps you can miss out as well, like the lashes, you don't need to do that, especially if you're going to school or work. When it comes to lipstick, you don't need to do the lip liner, you could just shove on the lipstick. There's a few things that you can do to save time, but I think that this is the kind of most put together look that you can do super quickly. Sorry, I just wanted to look at my highlight again. So I really like this look, it's super simple. It kind of reminds me of one like a, like a Kardashian kind of inspired look. Um, I hope you guys like this tutorial as always, kind of always. I'll link everything down below that I used um, and I'll see you next time.